understanding fear and how to remove it. Overcoming fear to activate the laws of attraction. Fear leads to limiting beliefs. There are three pillars to overcome. Irrational fear, limited beliefs and contradictory thoughts. Love is a positive emotion, joy, excitement, satisfaction and fear is an instinctual emotion. So if fear comes to keep you safe, so if you was encountering a wild animal or you are going to fall off the edge of a cliff, then that's a real fear. But if it can't kill you, it's a false fear. Irrational fear. Fear prevents people from doing things like following their passions. They feel like they're not good enough to do it. Example, if you're out with your friends and they say, come on, come and sing on karaoke, and you say you can't because you're scared, you could embarrass yourself, but so what? It can't kill you, so it's not a real fear. And my favorite motto is, feel the fear and do it anyway. If it's not going to kill you, then just do it. Even if you fail or win, when it's over, you will feel fantastic that you have conquered your fear. Every time you do this, you will get stronger and stronger. So keep at it. Contradictory thoughts. You are inspired with an idea to do something and suddenly get hit with a million reasons or thoughts as to why you shouldn't. Contradictory thoughts come from your ego. Your ego is ultimately trying to protect you from death. But if it can't kill you, the fear is false. Researchers say it takes five seconds for your ego to pop in and try and change your mind. So when you're about to do something, count to five in your head, then do it. Stop the voice saying no in your head. When you no longer split the flow of energy with contradictory thoughts, you will know your power. Abraham Hicks. Limited beliefs. False beliefs that protect you from reaching your full potential. The reason why you can have limited beliefs is because your ego is trying to protect yourself from the feeling of fear or failure. You cannot die from failing. It's a learning curve. Push through. There is no such thing as failing. That's just a label. If you win, great. If you fail, you learn. Either way, you don't really lose. When a limited belief, your ego kicks in, remind yourself, I am committed to learn how to do it. Never say, I can't do it, or I don't know how to do it. Say, I am committed to learn how to do it. You come here to expand. Don't fear negative emotions. They come up so that you can address them. Worrying does not serve you. Why worry? Worrying is basically using your imagination to create something you don't want. Worrying does nothing but drain your energy. Replace worry with a feeling of trust. Everything, happen, everything happening in this life is happening for you, not to you. Worrying is an irrational fear. When a fear-based thought pops up, replace it with a confident thought. Say, I have exactly what I want when I need it, or I exist, therefore I am. Affirmations to help with fear. Repeat after me. Feel the fear and do it anyway. That's my favorite. I am letting go of fear. It can't kill me, so this is not a real fear. I allow my confidence to rise to the surface. I am strong, confident and capable. Stop looking at life too seriously. So what if you fail? Failure opens doors to something else. Take risks. That's why you came to this planet. Eliminate fear quick tips. Lavender, jasmine or caramel essential oils. And like I explained in my previous lecture, that the opposite emotion to fear is love. So get in the 528 hertz of love frequency. Activate balancing your solar plexus chakra because that is your empowerment chakra. And most importantly, breathe. It is normal to get a faster heart rate and sweat it. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.